We think of black people, we think of stereotypes. You know, they're loud and things of that nature, right? I did a video that went viral that's called Racist Mexicans. And more or less what I described there was that when I first arrived to this country from Mexico, I was warned about black people and be careful with them. You know, they're problematic. They're going to get you into trouble. They're violent and things of that nature. All the negative things that are attached to the stereotypes. What I also said in that video was when I was settling in this country and moving into a black neighborhood, the first thing that I noticed was that black people were embracing me more than my own people. So as I was getting together with black people and felt so welcome, I began to question the stereotypes and what I was warned about. And so for many years of my life, I will always, nah, black people, you know, they're good. Whatever you guys are saying, it's not true because they welcome me. They'll always receive me with open arms. But you see, I've been wrong in chanting that song. In a way, it's actually been damaging because what if black people never welcome me? Would they that prove then the stereotypes right you see the interesting part here is that by default black people are the bad guy white people are the good guys why when I came to this country I was warned about black people but not white people when history has taught us that white people came from Europe and pretty much destroyed us as much as possible and have been colonized ethnically cleansed and pretty much stripped from our languages and everything we are by white people you would think based on history based Based on our current systemic efforts, you would think that arriving to this country would be warned about white people. Hey, be careful. They pass racist laws. You get pulled over for your complexion. Things of that nature. But no. So the real question is, what seems to be the problem? A good example of that is as I'm walking on the street and I see a black or a brown man coming my way. Our reaction collectively is, what the F you looking at? But then when a white man is coming our way, we move to the side and say, excuse me, sir. So we we are looking at ourselves, at each other, with the eyes of the people that have colonized us. You said that black people are, tend to be naturally more welcoming, more accepting, and it's true. I agree. I grew up in black neighborhoods, so it allowed me to discover that. But see, that's also problematic because what if I never grew up in black neighborhoods? Why do black people have to, in a way, prove their humanity, have to convince us of their humanity, but white people never have to? So if I grew up, let's just say, in a Mexican neighborhood, only. So from a distance, I'm thinking, oh, I ain't trying to go to that black neighborhood because black folks are violent. But it's okay if I go to that white neighborhood because white people are not violent. So you see, by default, white folks get their humanity. Black people do not. So you said something very important too. Who's been controlling the macro media and who still controls it? What is the standard of beauty? The white standard of beauty. So everything that is white has been right. We are so behind, so many, many decades behind in regards to who's been controlling the macro media the mass media whoever has been has been controlling how we see the world the images and the messages subliminal messages but also one of the best things you said that I completely agree and it plays the biggest part is the victor gets to write our history and so we've been depicted as the bad guys and the conqueror the colonizer the slaver has depicted himself as the good guy and unfortunately due to indoctrination and white supremacist ideologies that have been forced onto us and we've adopted and unfortunately practice we have been treating and viewing each other with the eyes of the white supremacist white man